The Centers for Disease Control told Congress today it needs money and it needs it fast to fight the Zika virus in the United States. Zika carried by mosquitoes is strongly suspected of causing birth defects and now possibly another neurological disease. A White House request for emergency funds totaling nearly $2 billion is stalled in Congress. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Everything we look at with this virus seems to be a bit scarier than we initially thought. At a White House briefing today, doctors Ann Shuket of the CDC and Anthony Fauci of the NIH did not mince words. I'm not an alarmist, and most of you who know me know that I'm not. But the more we learn about the neurological aspects, the more we look around and say, this is very serious. Serious because new research is linking Zika to more complications than previously thought. Not just microcephaly, an abnormally small brain at birth, but also miscarriage prematurity and blindness in newborns, and just yesterday, a new neurological complication in adults. One report from Brazil found abnormal fetal ultrasounds in 29% of Zika-infected women. We've also learned that the virus is likely to be a problem at um, much of the pregnancy period, not just probably the first trimester. The CDC now believes Aedes aegypti, the mosquito that carries the virus, is found in 30 states, not 12 as previously estimated. And the U.S. is no longer aggressively killing mosquitoes. Between 2004 and 2012, more than half the states reduced their mosquito trapping and testing programs. We've really let our mosquito control efforts um, wither away. The administration says the $1.9 billion will be used to beef up our ability to diagnose Zika, get rid of mosquito breeding grounds, track the disease throughout the country, and develop a vaccine. When the president asked for $1.9 billion, we needed $1.9 billion. The CDC is urging all travelers from Zika-affected areas to use mosquito repellent for a couple of weeks after arriving in the U.S. That will make it less likely for an uninfected mosquito here to get the virus by biting Zika-infected people. Dr. John LaPook, doctor, thank you.